Ladies and gentlemen, to the organizers for having and proceeding. Needless for me to say, the topic and its relevance, which is there at the moment. In fact, many of you must have noticed the importance of food because my earlier speakers have said a lot about it. Let me not go into that. I would just like to say a common things because you must have seen on the roadside people will be enjoying pani puri or gol gappa or gappa or whatever word you may say and the gentleman will be making a small hole he will be putting some chana or chole or whatever you may call and with the same hand he will be dipping it and giving it to you as soon as you finish off your thing god only knows where he puts his hand yeah. it may be in the nose it may be in head he may be in the body he may be wherever it may let me not go into the details and then you can imagine what sort of hygiene we have got invariably in rural areas we have been seeing the mother who may not be educated when a biscuit or something falls down she will blow some air and then he will ask his child to eat and without knowing what she has been doing god only knows what it is but i swear i am not just joking an incident the other day i am lucky enough to have number of visitors every day to my house because as a food technologist several people keep coming to me for some advice and all that i asked my cook to prepare some cups of tea unfortunately i was there when she was pouring the tea in the cups and the, and the malai was coming and the cream was coming and she blew from her mouth so as to push that uh, malai so that it doesn't fall into the cups unfortunately i saw that i said please don't put that and you take away the milk she started telling why why what happened sir what is that i have made very good tea and all that then i had to explain how many toothbrushes you have got at home then she started telling my sister have got my husband has got my kids have got when i said when you can have separate brushes toothbrushes why can't you think of this how could you blow your mouth air while preventing the cream coming into that so like that there are innumerable examples in fact you must have seen when in a particularly roadside hotels he will be putting five fingers in the glasses and he will be placing right before you and that means he says he is saving the time and all that god only knows what is going to happen in fact our chief guest he was rightly telling that probably we have got resistance and we are able to sustain that but it, it has time has come when we have to think what is good for us how best we can prevent and all my learned speakers on the dais who are going to tell you something more and uh, i'm sure i don't want to be an obstacle between you and the learned speakers i have got three small requests to make and number one request of mine please put your mobiles on the silent mode it is always a disturbance or nuisance or problem and my humble request to each one of you kindly put your mobile on the silent mode because when there is a pin drop silence even a little disturbance creates a nuisance and the speaker loses the interest that's one thing my second humble request to you that is please make a note of all your queries and doubts and questions and all that because this will have the questions at the end of that because not that we would like to you to go with your doubts we would like to have your doubts with us and we would like to give you the remedy solution and all that here is a forum where you can learn something more in fact uh, i may not hesitate to say that more the questions more will be the encouragement for the speakers so with that in fact i would like to speak much more but i don't want to be an obstacle between you and the speakers so let me start as the saying goes ladies first we believe in the tradition our indian culture and i request dr aparna uh, to enlighten and tell us something more a brief point about dr aparna uh, she has done her doctorate in 2004 uh, from uh, foods and nutrition from acharya ng ranga university 
now of course the name has been changed. She has done a lot of work on functional foods and nutraceuticals and all this. Uh, she has been in the teaching line and research activity on the human nutrition, food processing, food science, and many more things. Uh, her interest is also on control of diabetics. I think it is needless to say Hyderabad or India is considered to be the capital of diabetics. And she is going to throw some more light on how to control, how to avoid, particularly a diabetic 2 type. Uh, Mrs. Ganeshan, my attention is only on your. Unfortunately, uh, my attention is on you only. So, uh, with this small briefing, because uh, introducing more will be a waste of time, I request uh, Dr. Aparna to tell us something more about the food safety standards, rules and all.